Hi and welcome to Makeup Bug Whip. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy Pride. All right, let's do a haul. So over the last month, it's not been too much. It's only a little bit, so let's haul it. So there's been things that have come in. And so I want to show them to you and we will talk about them and swatch them and play with them. First, because I've been using it and it's right in front of me, is the Maybelline Firework Mascara. Lash Sensational Firework. It's cute too. Um, mine's in black. It has a rubber bristle thingy, but the, in the tip of the wand is super floppity. So like, if you ain't a floppy fan, this one ain't for you. Um, I didn't curl my lashes and I need a lash lift. So there's that, but it's fine. I've been wearing it. It hasn't flaked or smudged. Firework. And this is not the waterproof either. This is like regular. So there's that. Um, it's okay. I'm not, I wouldn't, it's not, it's not a lash princess. Also, I know these don't match. Don't come for me. Um, was a sin for you. Also, I did pick this up from Amazon and mortifyingly got the darkest shade of all. Um, fair beige, not fair. <laughs> Maybe beige. I don't know. It's like, it's like medium peach is what this should have been called. This is the Bare Focus Nice Cinnamide one. Listen, from Wet n Wild, I ordered the Fair Fair. So it should be here and then we'll try it out. I'm not even gonna try it on my face. It is so dark. I might use it as a mixer if I need things darker or peachier, which is never, but it could happen. It could. Okay, something, um, I got a couple things from Lush that are a little bit not bath balmy, but um, I have discovered my scent of all time is Lord of Misrule. So um, it's pepper patchouli and vanilla and you're like that sounds terrible I know I love it and I don't know why in my later years in my senior years that I think patchouli smells good now because I used to not like it at all but if you spray tobacco on me or patchouli on me or like man cave on me I'm down <laughs> I don't know man I don't know um, so, Lord of Misrule, I have the Little Baby, I have the Solid Perfume, God, toe mighty nose, and I also have the One Ounce, but it's downstairs at my desk, and then I got the Massage Bar, like that, it melts, and then you stank good, so there's that. Um, also, I got Vanillary, because I do like Vanilla Scents. So I got her. I also got a bunch of bath bombs, but these are the scents that I got. So I'm down, this is not, this is not as potent as Lord of Misrule. I spray one Lord of Misrule on one arm, wipe it on the other, wipe it somewhere else on my body all day long. I smell delicious. This, it doesn't, it's, it's not very potent. I would much rather have the Billie Eilish one, Billie Eilish One, smells more like vanilla and lasts longer than this. So, just my thoughts on fragrance. Okay, that was Lush. So, what I, did I even like? Hi, I'm Leanne. Did I even say that? I don't even know. Hi, I'm Leanne. This is a haul. I have obviously Lush. Um, I've got Sephora, Gimme Glow Cosmetics, Adept Cosmetics, Blend Bunny. Ulta. That's what I've got. I think that's all. So it's all mixed up because it's all been in this box over here. This is the cutest pride headband on the planet. I think it's so cute, but it hurts on this ear only. So means my sh head is misshapen, I suppose, I mean, or a wonky lopsided cattywampus. I don't know. I'm just going to grab and then you'll see what we see. So on top, because it was the latest thing to arrive, Sephora question mark? Must have been. Sephora had a uh, Natasha Denona Xenon palette for half off. So 34 bucks. I did not buy her at full price. Obviously, I bought her for 34 bucks. But um, somebody on Reddit, let me tell you, get up on Reddit now. That, the, 
we know what we're doing over there. <laughs> you will get all the notifications you want for when things go on sale on Reddit. Uh, so somebody on Reddit gave us the heads up, went over there and purchased it. It is everything I thought it would be and more. I haven't used it yet, but God almighty knows it's beautiful. I would not have paid full price for this and did not on purpose because to me, it's, I've got all the Natasha Denona colors that I want. This is beautiful. Is it worth 34? Absolutely it is. And so I'm happy to have it in my collection. I'm happy to use it. I cannot wait to use it. Uh, I love her formula, but I'm no longer, I'm not going to pay I'm going to try really hard not to pay full price. Also, I mean, just, that's just gorgeous. You stop it. Okay, let's talk a minute about my recycling. It hasn't been taken out this week or last week, I think. So, I don't know if it, he's just coming out and saying he's divorcing me or if this is just a way of letting me know without letting me know. Look at that. Look at that powery bottle just teetering on the edge. I can't. This must have been free gift with purchase from Sephora. Oh, yes, it was. It was the concealer. Look at the little Ziploc bag. How cute. It was the concealer thing. So I got a bunch of concealer things, you know, but better than that in the concealer thing, which is odd, is a YSL Touche Club blur primer. Why would this be in the concealer packet? I don't know, but whoever in the warehouse, I love you. I don't know if this was on purpose or not. But, you know, I got all the concealers to try, which is fabulous because I love doing that. But, heck yeah, I love this stuff. But I will never buy it. Like, you will never catch me. I have made it twice into a box that's in front of the recycling bin because nobody's taking out the recycling bin. I'm not bitter. Oh, my gosh. I just saw what was in here. Look. Stop it. Y'all know I like little tiny things, right? Oh, my glory. You cannot be serious. Look at that little beauty blender. Oh my God. <laughs> what are you going to do with it? You sneeze and it's gone. I'm going to put it right there. You're precious. Oh my goodness. That just made my whole day. Okay. Um, What else is in here? Dr. Jart Vital Hydra Solution Hydra Pump Water Cream. Thank you. Peace out healing dots for acne. I love little hydrocolloid dots for acne. Okay, haven't opened this, but let's do it together. This is the Pat McGrath Labs little six pan. Um, they were on sale for 20, I think. Um, I don't have this one. And so I bought her for 20. Thank goodness this doesn't have those sequins in them. Let me tell you what, that was crazy back in the day. Remember that? Uh, this is the mini eyeshadow palette. This one's in Midnight Voyage, which is the purpley one. Look at her. Right? Would you like to swatch with me? Hmm. Okay. Let's swatch. Okay, Mother. Go ahead, Mother Pat. Little baby eyeshadow palette coming through with the pigments. I like purples. The last one's a little bit more gritty, this one. Just a little bit. It's just not as smooth as the other ones in the pan. Oh, shoot. 20 bucks? Go ahead. Get your Pat McGrath on. That's Sephora. In the sale section. Isn't she cute? Yes, she is. That's precious. That's precious. Okay. Wouldn't pay full price for that either, but sure would pay 20 bucks. I like it. Onward. Y'all miss me? I miss y'all. I've been I've been gone for a while because of crazy. Also, I think I, I did a 100-point perk for the Oribe Maximista Thickening Spray because we got this hair here, and it's um, a lot shorter than it was. And so when I put it up in, like, a bun or space buns or a pigtail, I like to give it a little bit of oomph so it's a little bit crazier. Also, I like shag with, like, a lot of texture, so... I went that route, this go round. Um, Glen Bunny, maybe? Glen Bunny had palettes for half off, or I think half off, or something around there. Um, there's the packages, don't care. We got, oh, we got the face palette, the face and eye, the Forget Me Not. 
I wanted this when it came out, but I didn't, I didn't pull the trigger. It opens like a book. This one does. And it's, of course, not of course, but maybe you don't know. Um, it is like bronzer contour, could be a blush, could be powder, highlighters, but also face. No, but also eye. <laughs> so I think this is absolutely beautiful. And I love Blend Bunny formula. I love everything about it. I thought that this would be a magnificent companion palette to just about anything in this room because it would be every kind of mid-tone brown and liner shade that you could possibly want in inner corner shades. That, I mean, it's just gorgeous. And that's Forget Me Not. Then the next one is the Machina one. This is the one she did with her dad. And it's, I don't know why I didn't get it when it actually came out. I remember seeing all of her information about it, reading the stories about it. And I thought it was absolutely beautiful what she did with her dad. So this is her dad's side, this is her side. Um, it's gorgeous. It is so pretty. And it looks, it, it is, it looks matte heavy. It is matte heavy. All of her palettes are matte heavy. <laughs> so it's not unusual. It's just that the shimmers are spread out in the palette in a different formation than her first palettes where they were all at the bottom or at the top. Um, but if you look, it's the same principle as her other palettes where her columns are color families, I guess is the, the best way to put it. And, the, but you can of course mix and match and do whatever you want, but how beautiful, how beautiful and what a wonderful, like, it's just, it's just, I, I love everything about how this palette came to be. Um, you can look on her Instagram and see like her inspiration and what she and her dad did. Um, beautiful artwork. I think it's gorgeous. Anyway, these were um, on sale and happy to have those two Blend Bunny palettes in my collection. I can't wait to use them. I adore Blend Bunny formula and also colors. I, I think they're beautiful. Okay, um, Adept Cosmetics. This was an interesting um, purchase. I typically think about stuff some. <laughs> this one, I did not even think. We, so in my household at night time, I get, um, I go to bed first because I want to go to sleep first before Mr. Mugwump. Because if I go to, if he goes to sleep first, then I'm awake alone with my anxiety and I can't. So I, if I go to sleep first and then he comes to bed, I'm already asleep. It's fine. And he doesn't wake me up. I just sleep and it works really well because he's awake, tucks me in, I go to sleep. And then however long later he comes to bed. Okay. And in that nighttime ritual of being tucked in, because I'm four, um, with my stuffed animal and my dog, you know, you know how it is, the forehead kiss, you know. And so as I'm getting tucked in, one of the things that um, I typically do is have YouTube playing. And when I found out how to turn the screen off on my TV where I could just hear it and it's not like flashing or lighting up the room, it made it even more bougie because I have a black screen TV playing YouTube, set the sleep timer. And so then it goes off before he comes to bed. It's all a thing. But one night we were watching, I had a YouTube video on watching it before I actually went to bed in that whole ritual. Tarbase came on and she had the Amy Loves collection from Adept Cosmetics. She showed it, she swatched it, I bought it right then. Like I picked up my phone, hit buy. I just, both the blush palette and the eyeshadow palette. So let's start with blush palette. These are my only Adept Cosmetics um, palettes. I have their empty palettes, their magnetic palettes because they're huge and gorgeous and chunky and big. And I love that, but I have never bought an actual like pre-made Adept Cosmetics palette before. And now that I have them, it's going to be bad. Dr. Ash did her ranking of Adept Cosmetics palettes. Go watch that if you haven't, because holy cannoli, she shows you all the things. But this one, this one's it. Okay, so this is the blush palette from Amy Loves. I don't know who Amy is, but good golly Pete, she knows how to pick shades. <laughs> so you have two super sparkles, two mattes for the blush palette. These would be highlighter blush toppers for me. And then that coral is banging, but that pink is everything. Um, come on. But the Peace Day Resistance is this palette. It is cool tone, multi-chrome dreams. You have never. I have already worn this twice. And 
it was it was still in the, I would get it out of the bottom of the hall box like we are talking I need this that Pisces shade there which I am a Pisces and lavender oh my word they are multi-chromes like nobody's business this shade here Glam, I almost said clam. That's a different thing. This shade right here is like nothing you have ever seen sparkle. Five mattes. This is a matte and then these four here. Very interesting mattes too. Very interesting. And it is, I have worn this, uh, the Billion, geez Louise, I can't read upside down. Billion Much as a crease shade lightly and also mocha. They these three can work for me. I mean, this is also beautiful. It's just blue. I I don't necessarily wear a lot of blue eyeshadow, but it the tone of it is beautiful. It's like a like a a denim blue maybe, but with a touch of slate. I don't know. It's coming off a little periwinkle. On it's not periwinkle. So if you're going into it for that, not. But they are they're very unique mattes to go with these unparalleled shimmers nothing you've ever seen. I mean, I can't even describe it to you. They are beyond, I just, I instantly bought it and I'm glad that I did. Come on, get out of here. Let me, sh let me swatch the glam for you. You won't, you can't even, you can't even, you can't even see for the shine on that. Stop it. Why don't I have Every Adept Cosmetics palette? I don't know. Why was I sleep? Where, where, why? Unbelievable. If this is not my favorite palette of this year, I, I'll slap your mama. I, <laughs> I won't. I won't hurt your mama. But I'm, come on. Cool tone. Shiny unicorn. Stop it. Stop it. I'm, I promise you, I will not put that down for months. I promise you. I promise you. Stop it. Okay. Next. Oh, Ulta. Oh, my friend Ulta. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I forgot. Hang on. In the Blend Bunny um, order, I didn't order these, but I guess she threw them in, which I'm super stoked. I use pop sockets on my phone and she threw in three. Little pop like two of them saying, one well, was just playing. Listen, I will, I will absolutely, because I'll change my phone case right now. But I'll take your pop sockets. Heck yeah, dude. I, <laughs> I used to not like them at all. I was like, why would anybody want that? And the answer is because I hold my phone all the time and I read on my phone or I watch something on my phone and TikTok. I mean, come on, like you need something to hold your phone up. So that, I like that. That's fine. Okay, Ulta. I placed an order at Ulta and I got a few things. Is this all I got from Ulta? Hold on. I'll check it. I think it is. Okay. Um, all right. So the Pokemon collection came out from ColourPop and I do enjoy Pokemon. Like I played Yeller when it came out. I enjoyed it very much. And I also played Pokemon Go for a little while, but not much. And I, I like the premise of the Pokemans. That's not why I bought this. I bought it because it was the the actual things. So this is Clefairy, right? Yeah, I think so. This is the 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 creamy weird blush that turns into a powder. It is their Instant Crush Cream Blush in Metronome. They had three different colors. This was the one that I was like, yup. It is baby pink, but it turns like it. it almost instantly turns to a powder. It's weird, man. It, it's cool, but weird. Hadn't worn it yet. Metronome. It's got all the paint. Paint Pokemon. Yeah, because that's Jigglypuff, right? Is that right? I don't know. That one. And then, and then, I, I got the palette because, come on. Um, It's cute. Packaging's cute. And it's called Palette Town, which is hysterically cute. I mean, come on now. You can't you can't name it better than that. I love ColourPop. I've loved ColourPop for ever and ever, and I will continue to love ColourPop. It's just another rainbow palette. But it's adorable. Like, 
come on and I like it each column again a color family just like the blend bunny I love that I love that for us um probably and this is it's disturbing I I enjoy brown transition shades in every palette that I could possibly get this one has it I'm down for that um I do really think these greens are very pretty just the tones of these greens like just right that's that's a little bit of a unique dark green it's a little bit unique and it is pig manna it's pig manna and i enjoy that i think that's really pretty also this the leaf green what is it called tall grass that's cute it's i mean it's it's green now i like i just they're they're very pretty the greens <laughs> um i don't i don't love reds i mean i don't love reddy orangey much but if you're going to go for it, go for it. And that's, this one absolutely does. This has a Pokeball imprint on it. That's the only one that does. But it's cute. Ain't it? Ain't it cute? I just think it's really pretty. I really do. It's got, um, I think this is one of those mattes with the little shimmers in it. Everything else is either, are any of these pressed glitters? Yes, that one's a pressed glitter. But I like, I like their pressed glitters. I do. I think ColourPop pressed glitters are the bee's knees. That one's got some pink reflex, some red and pink in the lavender. That's really pretty. I just, I think they're fabulous. That one's called Blasting Off. So yeah, there she is. I'm very excited to use her as well. Those are, you know, legit. I'm down for it. I also got uh, the Revolution Bright Light Glow Drops in Stardew Gold. It's a little squeezy tube, kind of weird shaped pyramidal thing. So it looks, it's almost moussey, almost moussey, not liquid, doesn't run, but it's, and let's take this up here and show you blend it out, blend it out, blend it out. So she will blend out to be just a beautiful, to me, primer. I use products like this under my foundation to give me glow. And yeah, I haven't tried a Makeup Revolution glow drops before, so it's a it's a light it is a yellowish gold so it's not it's not white gold but it when you when you actually spread it out all over your face you probably won't be able to see the pigment of it but it will it will glow beautifully underneath your makeup which is what i'm going for so we'll try her out and see how she goes uno momento please for cleansing next essence came out with a i think like a little mermaid or whatever collection this is called it's called mesmerizing but i think it was like mermaidy things this is your mesmerizing it's a highlighter balm it is the reason why i bought it a it's adorable so it's this weird balm with things in it okay i have the makeup revolution version of it it's called bubble balm over there and it's it's the same as that Huda shade that everybody is freaked out about with the bubbles in it, right? Well, this is highlighter pearls in that same kind of balmy texture, and it is. I'm gonna swatch both of them for you next to each other so that you see the difference between them, because I think that will help you if you are in dire need of a balm highlighter. I love them. I'm wearing this one today from Makeup Revolution. That is a hard swatch of it, like not blended out. It is invisible base, no base color. And then when you swirl the little thingies in it, you get the shine, again, no base color. This one is the mesmerizing, it's pinky purpley because of the little pinky purpley stars. This one, is the bubble balm from Revolution in Icy Rose. It has rose bubbles in it, but they aren't as pigmented as the purple stars in the Essence. I love these products. I think they are stellar. You can't see them dead on. You cannot see. They don't they don't darken. They're not too dark for my skin. They're they're gorgeous. They stay all day. They shine all day. It's it feels like nothing because it is literally the thinnest formula you can ever imagine. It's gorgeous. I'm down for that. Last but not least is Give Me Glow Cosmetics. And we need a new makeup wipe for this because we're about to go to Color Town. 
So they were having a sale. <laughs> and yours truly was a sale. So I did some damage on the old Give Me Glow website. If you haven't ever tried Give Me Glow, there's several things that I like that they do. Um, one of them is right here on top. I got a backup of something, which I rarely do. I got a backup of their mixing medium. It's called Over the Top Mixing Medium. This is mine that's open. It comes like this. And you put that in there when you're ready. It is absolutely, hands down, to me, the best mixing medium I've ever tried. I put a drop. It is a dropper that works, that functions in this packaging. I put a drop of it with my loose pigment in order to make a liquid either liner or eyeshadow. Um, and I love it. I think it's absolutely marvelous. So I think it was $3. I went ahead and bought it back up at that price because I know I will use it. Um, and it's fantastic. Another thing that they had on sale is their hashtag love it activated liner. So many of you know that I'm a water activated liner lover. That's how I did my little pride flags today is you dip your little liner brush in some water, dip it in the, the, the cake. It's like a, it's dry, you know, it's not wet and you dip it in there. You dip your brush in there, swirl it around and then you get the pigment on your brush and then you use it and then it dries. It lasts forever. This is Elle Woods, which is a reference to Legally Blonde, one of my very favorite movies of all time, which is odd because in my life, I don't necessarily like movies like that, but that's probably one of the best movies like that of all time to me. So cleverly done, so funny, but also so amazing. The message of it, chef's kiss. I love it so much. Anywho, um, a neon yellow, a neon pink. You might not be able to see, I mean, it's very neon. I don't know if it's gonna be able to pick up on camera. Sometimes neons look a little dull on camera. Cannot wait to wear this in summer. I, I really, really like uh, water activated liners because of how easy it is. And I use really teeny tiny, little teeny tiny brushes like that and get exactly where I want to get and do what I want. I love it so much. Okay, next from Give Me Glow, I got three Give Me Glosses. Um, I don't remember what colors I got. This has been here a while. So let's, uh, let's crack these bad girls open and see what I got. Oh. I got concealer lips. <laughs> Vanilla milkshake. Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, golly, that smells good. Mm, that smells good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. This is like myth from MAC. I mean, she's, she's straight up concealer. I love this formula. I love a nude. What can I say? I love them. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Stuck up. Oh, she's so much darker. Such a difference. A little pinkier. Yeah. I wonder what the third one will be. Watch it be a black. Oh, no. Okay. Ooh. All that's apricot. How interesting. Much warmer and peachier, apricotier, if you will. Uh, yeah, those are those are those. I think they were three dollars. I, I mean, it was a great sale. Onward. Oh my golly. Okay, the big mama jamma that I got. Oh shoot, I forgot I got those. Hold on, you just wait. You wait right there. I'm so smart to myself. I got some more liner brushes. <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, little teeny tiny baby. She's cute. Hi, sweetie. G87, a G214, and a G something really small. Yes, queen. Deja Vu is the lip liner. I already had one, and I this is the backup of it because again, I think she was three dollars. She's a this is the this is the new one. Put it down. This is the old one. Old. I mean, 
She's a beautiful rosy pink. There you have it. A fantastic pinky nude lip liner. Fabulous formula. Again, a couple dollars, so I got to back up. She's going in the old lip liner drawer here. If she'll fit, she doesn't. Oh, she does if she goes sideways. Okay, this is just, I can't believe. And I also didn't know. Um, this is called the Over the Top Vault. Okay, this is their Loose Shimmer Pigments. And I didn't know it, but there was another over the top mixing medium. So now I have three because why not? But let me tell you about these because I've, I already have two that I bought earlier individually. And so one of them is Moon Dust. It's the silvery one. The other one is Roses Remix, which is my favorite shade from Give Me Glow Cosmetics in a pressed eyeshadow formula. And this is the loose pigment. And this is what this is. What I wear with this almost all the time is the Roses Remix. It is a rosy, beautifully stunning, shimmery thing. Well, this is the rest of them, including those two again. Um, there is Glamorous. Dragon's Blood, which is a multi-chrome. Ring of Fire. They're stuck in here, y'all. That's the Roses Remix. It's just a rose. It's so pretty. This is Pink Bubbly. Pajamas. This is Moon Dust, this, the silvery taupey one. Satellite is more silver, like a brighter, wider silver. This is Space Princess. It's just like a champagne. And then when I grow up, nope, when I glow up. So let me show you, I'll show you on the one that's open over here I've got. Let me show you Rose's Remix, because you're gonna fall over. So buckle up, kid. They open, little tiny sifter. Look at it flying in the air. Mm -hmm. I will get the tiniest amount out and then I will just show you. That's Rose's Remix. You can't tell me that is not the most beautiful shade in the entire, I mean, come on, in the entire world. You mix it with that me mix and medium and it becomes a liquid and you just paint it on wherever you want it. It stays all day. It There's no fallout. It is unbelievable. I love it. Give me Glow Cosmetics. This one's called Roses Remix. It is my favorite so far, but I haven't used all those yet. So let's see what we find with those. I was super stoked to get that. I think it was half off as well. So I was super excited. But I also got a couple of palettes. And one of them I had kind I've kind of wanted for a while, but I just never pulled the trigger on it. Uh, and then when it went on sale, I was like, doink. And that is the Haunted Pumpkin palette. It is not the time of year, but do I care? No. Can I tell you how heavy these are? Uh, their palettes are stunning. These, these pans are flipping huge. Um, they've got the little jack-o'-lantern imprinting on them and it is stunning. It is absolutely stunning. I cannot, I cannot. Their shades are like nothing you have ever seen. Like it's, indie shadows are unreal. If you are still buying at Sephora, it's okay. And Ulta, it's okay. But if you want, if you want to step outside, and, and see what the rest of the world has got to offer. These indie sh these indie brands are doing it, man. They are absolutely doing it better than anyone. And I know the price point seems like it's high, but for what you get, mm -mm, you will never, you will never, this will never be in the drugstore, ever. That's Haunted Pumpkin. The other one that I got, I can't. I really, 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 first of all, think the packaging is beyond. This is my aesthetic, y'all. It's called Mystical Garden. It's gorgeous. You just, you just sit right there and look at that grungy gorgeousness. God, almighty knows. Look at this in quads. This, this, this. And there it is. It's so beautiful. There are only three shimmers in here. I don't care. I don't care. It is stunning. 
I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to put this on my eyeballs because you cannot stop me. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that murky, murky. Isn't that gorgeous? Come on, fall. Uh, it's it's not even quite summer yet and I'm ready for fall. Why? Because I hate summer. Because why do I hate summer? Because I hate being hot. But it's mostly because I love fall so much. <laughs> this. Oh, no. So it's magnetic, but not very. Maybe this is why this one was on sale. Only a little bit of a ding in one of them. So we saved it. Be careful. Be careful. That's my haul. Um, with an exciting ending, right? Right. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, what have you picked up lately? and tell me about it down below and are any of these things that you want to hang out and watch me use let me know otherwise hit subscribe and let's hang out and be friends on the internet and hit like if you like this video because it really does help out my channel and i appreciate it so thank you so much i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you soon bye